Hello Hacktubers and welcome back to my channel. Today video, as you can see, will be all about Arduino. I am using a lot of these Arduino boards in my project. So, in today's video, as I said, I'm gonna explain what is Arduino, what kind of Arduino boards exist, why you should use Arduino and at the end of this video I'm gonna show you a couple of examples. What is Arduino? Arduino is open source platform for building electronic projects. Basically if you want to build a simple project for beginner uh, you will need two things. The first thing is the, the Arduino board and the second thing is the software or integrated development inter environment that runs on the computer and from here you can write and upload computer code to the board. This board that I'm holding in my hand is most used Arduino board. And I'm gonna explain the main components soldered on this board as this USB connector of course, that is for interfacing with uh, with your computer and uploading the code to the microchip. Here it is the microchip. In this case, for this board, this chip is Atmega328. Okay. Here is the DC jack for powering the board and you can plug in your power source up to I think 12 volts maximum and from here this is the voltage regulator that drops the voltage up to 5 volts yes the microcontroller works on 5 volts this shiny thing is 16 megahertz oscillator crystal This thing is ESTP connector for programming also the, the microchip. You have 13 digital outputs and 6 analog inputs. That means that this board can control 13 different devices or let's say LEDs and on analog input you can hook up up to six analog devices for controlling the microcontroller. There are also reset push button. Here you have couple of LEDs for indicating that the board is on and TX and RX LEDs. How many Arduino boards exist or types? This one is the most used and is called Arduino Uno. This one is also with same chip at, as this one at Mega328 but it's more small and it's Arduino I think Pro Mini and this one does not have the USB interface and you need to to program it with USB programmer this is the guy the next board is Arduino Nano is the same like this one but this have the USB interface next one you have lily pad without soldering this is very popular Arduino with ESP8266 
Wi-Fi model. And the biggest Arduino board is Arduino Mega. This board have a lot more uh, digital inputs and outputs and the microprocessor is also with bigger memory okay but in today video I'm gonna explain the basic Arduino board you have wonder why you should use Arduino board let me tell you for example you can do a lot of electronic projects and for example if you want to make a digital weather station like this one it have a LCD display the sensor and all that is just plug in and play Okay, to run this thing you will need a software. The software is called Arduino IDE and you can download it. I will put the link in the description below and in this video I will not learn you how to write a code but I'm gonna show you how you can upload the code to the board. Once you have uh, installed the Arduino software you're gonna open and you will get it this this is the software next thing is to connect the Arduino board with your computer and you will need a USB cable like this one as you can see the LED is blinking, that means that the Arduino board is working. Next is to click on tools and select your board. Here is check it Arduino Nano. This board is not Arduino Nano, it's Arduino Uno. I'm gonna choose Arduino Uno like that. Okay. Next thing is to select the port, the USB port. I have selected. Programmer, you need to choose this and everything is okay. Let's say that we want to blink this LED. Not the LED here that is blinking right now, that is on the board. I want to blink this LED and I'm gonna place it on pin 7 the positive from the LED goes to the digital pin 7 and the negative pin from the LED goes to ground here is the ground okay Go to File, Examples, Basics, Blink. Here it is. But we, we need to change the digital output. Here it says LED built-in output. I'm gonna change that to digital pin number 7 also here 7 and here number 7 now upload compile on sketch it's working uploading done look the LED is blinking digital pin number 7 I also I can 
change the speed of blinking. Just I need to to change these numbers where it says delay 1000 seconds. No, 500 milliseconds. Also here, 500 milliseconds. Again, upload the code. Compile and sketch. Uploading done. Look, the LED now is blinking faster. Okay, the next example, just to remove this, okay. The next example will be displaying a hello world on this LCD uh, display shield. And you can plug it like this. Okay, but it's not working. Why? Because we need to upload the code. I found on the web uh, a simple code for hello world and you're gonna copy open Arduino file new sketch close the old one no and here you will paste the code and now upload save the sketch for what waiting the code is uploading done hi hectubers how are you hello world That was all for today's video. I hope you learned something new and learned the basic of Arduino board and how to, to upload the code to this gadget. And if you like this video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. See ya!